Hi, so this is the last video on setting up a personal resume web page. In the last couple of videos, we've set up a hosting account with your own domain name and installed WordPress on it and reviewed how to install a theme for your WordPress site. So in this video now, we want to go over how to insert your resume onto your page. In order to put a resume up, we need to create some pages now on your website. So to do that, on the left hand side of the dashboard, there's a pages tab, you can click on that. And then we're gonna go to add new. And right here, we're gonna name our page resume. And then on the right hand side, just hit publish, and that'll create the page. And then I'm gonna go ahead and create some other pages at the same time here, because I want a page for a cover letter. And also, portfolio. Now if you have other pages where you want to add relevant content that you want employers to see, you can go ahead and do that. The great thing about these web pages is that you can share information immediately with employers that other people won't be able to supply until later on in the interview process. So now that I've added a couple of pages, I'm going to go back to my site. I can type in the address up here, hit refresh, and you can see at the top here those pages I just created showed up in a little toolbar so that if I click on these I can now go and see these pages and right now there's no content because I haven't inserted anything yet. You'll also notice at the top here there's an about page and this whole site is about you so there's no real need to have this page so what we're going to do is go back to WordPress here and delete that so go to pages and you'll see the about page here you can Click that and then come down here to move to trash, hit apply, and that page will be gone. So if I go back here, hit refresh, it's not there anymore. Also you'll notice on this page at the top, there's a home button. If I go there, you can see it takes me to this blog post. Since we don't, we're not using blogs for your resume, what we want to do is set this home page to be your resume. To do that, on the left hand side over here on your dashboard, go to settings and then go to reading. And that will take you to this page. And right here where it says front page displays, you want a static page and you want to select the front page to be your resume. If it's your preference, you could also put your front page to be your cover letter. And then at the bottom hit save changes. And then if I go back here to my website and hit refresh, the home page is back here at my resume. So now we want to insert our resume onto our site. So go back to WordPress, go to the Pages tab, click on your resume page, and this is the area now where we can insert your resume. So what I have is an example resume. I picked this one online because I think this format is something that you see a lot in resumes. If you use the template in Word to create a resume, it might look something like this. Um, a couple of things here to notice is that you have text that's on the left-hand margin and on the right-hand margin. And it looks like you have a table in here. Some of these things, when we copy them to a website, are going to change a little bit, so it'll require a little bit of editing. But I can show you real quickly how to do that. So what I want to do is just go ahead and do control A, control C to copy it. And I'm going to copy all of that into this window and just hit paste. And I can kind of preview this in here, hit update, and I can see really quickly how this translates onto my website. Go back to my site, fresh. Okay, I don't know if you can see this in the video, but some of this text is a little bit out of order from what it was on the Word document. So what I have to do is go back here to the editor and go through this and try to correct some of these placement errors. A lot of times all I have to do is break something up onto a new line so I'll just go there and press enter and it'll space it down. I'm gonna pause this for a second and make a couple changes. Okay that took me about two minutes and I can go ahead and hit update and then I can go back to my site hit refresh and I can see here that it's made all the changes that I just put in. 
Now one more thing to notice on here is that when I set up my site I have my name up here in my title and if you just cut and paste your resume you're probably going to have your name in that as well so you can go back in here and delete that. What I'm actually going to do is just change it to the word contact because I have all my contact information right below it. Okay so I hit update again. Refresh this real quick. Now if you notice too this site isn't terribly exciting right now. Most of all the fonts the same. There's just a little bit that's bolded. We can go back into WordPress and change that pretty quickly with just a few quick adjustments. So if you go right here there's a button that will allow you to open up these other options right here and on the left hand side there's a pull down menu and what those are are different font settings so if you highlight a piece of text and you click one of these other font settings then that text will take on those settings what you mostly use that for are for headings and subheadings so for example what I'm going to do is for all my headings I'm going to come in here and call those a headings one and then I'm going to scroll down and here's these headings I'll make those uh, so I'll make those a heading two education heading two and then over here on the other side I'm going to change this my school to a headings three and this is just going to add a little bit of variety onto your web page so take a second to go through your resume and make all the changes make sure you change all the other similar subheadings to that same font style and you can kind of create a hierarchy and then once all of your changes are made go ahead and hit update go back to your site hit refresh and you'll see now that some of these fonts have changed so this was for one type of resume I want to show you one other resume right now all, everything's over here on the left hand side and this is going to copy very well over to a resume so if you don't already have a resume and you're putting one together I would recommend doing it like this for the purpose of copying it to your web page so same thing we did before you can come in here and select all and copy it and go ahead and paste in that new information hit update head back to this page and hit refresh and so this is the other type of resume this is what it would look like pasted in here now I haven't gone in here though and changed any of these headings so I can do that right now okay I've gone ahead and made all the changes and I'm going to change that to contact like I did on the other resume update that go to my website hit refresh and you can see now that everything's broken up into headings and subheadings and if an employer looks at this they'll be able to find everything quickly one of the advantages of working on a website versus a piece of paper is that you're not limited on the size you can put your resume now you don't want to have pages and pages or it's going to be overwhelming but you can certainly space things out and make things bigger and smaller and you know make those small adjustments that you might not be able to fit onto just a piece of paper so one thing I just noticed on this resume here and this one was one of the ones I just copied offline is they don't have an email address in here so you want to make sure you have an email address because if they're viewing this online that means they're at their computer and email is the easiest way to get a hold of you so after this phone number I can go ahead and click on here and just go ahead and type in the name of my email so this is your resume and it's all updated and complete so you can see at the top here besides your resume we also have cover letter and portfolio I want to show you how to upload those as well so go back to dashboard go to the pages tab and you don't have to have these other pages if you just want to have a resume you can just not put these on here or delete them if you already have them so you're going to insert your cover letter the same way you did your resume I have one already typed out and this is a generic cover letter I didn't address it to anyone specifically and that's because I don't know who is going to be viewing my website but go ahead and copy that bring come back here paste it 
go to update and you can go back to your site and go to the cover letter tab at the top here and you can see your cover letters on here portfolio come back here to dashboard go to pages go to your portfolio and this can really be anything that pertains to your type of work if you're an architect you might have pictures of drawings you want to include if you're a graphic designer you might have designs uh, you can really just get creative with this area but to add a file there's this upload insert buttons right here and this first one is for pictures and I am just gonna pull up a random picture off my computer here and you can see it sort of uploaded that and then if I scroll down it's got some options if I want to center it to the left or the right and what size I want it and I'm just gonna leave it the way it is and hit insert into post now one thing I can do too is I can type in a description on here if I want to tell people what this is I can add additional pictures but when I'm all done come over here and hit update go back to your site go to the portfolio tab and here's the image you just added if you come here to your resume you notice that there's a big white space in this area if you will go to the advanced options tab on my website I have a video that will show you how to add a picture here earlier when I was talking about themes I noted that you can come back to your dashboard go to appearances and if you've uploaded a couple different themes you can activate them to preview them and see how they look with your resume I've gone ahead and added a few that I had listed on the themes tab that I recommended for resumes and I'm gonna go ahead and activate them real quick so that you can see what other themes look like with your resume so go back to your site here hit refresh and here's an example of one other theme now you can see this looks a lot different it's got different kind of color font here it kind of looks like it's sitting on a piece of paper you can see that some of these fonts are kind of big so what you could do is go back to your page and instead of being a heading one or a heading two you can change it to a heading three or something make it smaller if I want to look at another theme activate this one hit refresh this one has a lot more color to it you can see in this one that this headline the underline of it goes through the text on the line below so what you would want to do is go to that page if you chose this theme get rid of that underline and you wouldn't want to just get rid of that one you'd want to get rid of all of these so that each of your headings matches and that looks a lot cleaner it just depends on which theme you choose so now you're all done with your website it's complete it's live online so you can go ahead and take this address up here that's called your URL and you can copy that and when you go and apply to applications online or you send an email to an employer you can go ahead and paste that link into your application rather than having to open an attachment they can click on the link come to your website and get all of your information on here another way to advertise your page that you definitely want to do is come back to your resume and add your domain here into it if an employer sees what they like on the rest of your resume they can come here to your website and find out additional information which other competitors haven't submitted yet this will increase your odds of leaving a good first impression with an employer by having your own site here with your name it'll show employers that you have a presence online and that you're a professional with your own brand that other applicants won't have so that's all I have for the basics of setting up your resume web page online if you feel comfortable with WordPress and want to add some more features to your site go ahead and take a look at the advanced options tab and I have some videos on there that will guide you through the process of trying out some new things thanks for taking the time to go through this lesson and I hope you find it useful